Hey guys, welcome to Melissa Loman Beauty. Today I'm going to show you how to do some loose waves in your hair, those perfect lived in wavy curls that look like you didn't try too hard but you kind of did. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of product in my hair. I've already brushed it through with my Aveda paddle brush and I've let it air dry for about 15 minutes. Um, sometimes I don't have time for that obviously but today I did. I'm going to use the Beauty Protector Leave-In Conditioner that I got in my Sephora Play box. And I'm just going to spray this lightly through the ends. This product smells like cookies. It's amazing. So I'm going to use Aveda Volumizing Tonic. I'm going to spray this at the roots and kind of wherever I feel like we'll use a little bit of volume. And I'm just going to do a rough blow dry with my fingers today. No brush um, because I'm going to curl anyway so I just want to really be gentle with the hair. So I'm feeling through my hair, there's a lot of dampness, so I'm with my blow dryer on a cool setting and just hit those spots and make sure they get dry. Okay, my hair is completely dry now. I'm going to make sure I like my part, and it's a little, a little messier than I like it to be, but I do like it to kind of be pretty natural. That was too straight. And I'm doing just a slightly off-center part today. Great, and these front hairs are kind of sticking up, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of water and um, push them down and then hit them with the blow dryer one more time. You could also flip your head upside down and blow dry that way if that's easier for you. Now I've got my curling iron all heated up. Today I'm using a one inch curling iron and I've already put heat protection in my hair so I don't feel like I need to put any more but sometimes at this point people would spray like an iron spray, something like that, <clears throat> on their ends. I'm using a Hot Tools curling iron. These are the absolute best in the world. I've never found one that adds up. Yay, it's hot! It only took 20 minutes, just kidding. You definitely don't want to do curls with like a halfway hot curling iron. The curls will simply fall. I go about three quarters of the way, which is 380 degrees. If you have fine hair, I would go more like 330 degrees or like a, a medium. If you have super thick hair, I would go for the really high heat. I'm going to clip it up in maybe just two sections. Okay, grab your curling iron, and we're gonna go alternating um, directions. About one inch sections. Start about a third of the way down. You don't wanna start all the way up, and you don't wanna start way at the ends. Putting the curling iron in at a diagonal. I have a Marcel type iron. You might have a spring-loaded iron, that's totally fine. Same exact idea. Okay. So I'm curling the hair as I go with the direction that I originally put it in. I'm leaving the ends out. And then I'm pulling the curling iron through the ends so that they're kind of straight and down. Perfect. So we've got just a little bit of wave there, but not too much. You don't want to hold the curling iron on for longer than three seconds. So alternating direction, I'm putting it this way now. Again, leaving the ends out, and then pulling the curling iron through the ends at the end. Now if you get a little bit too curly, you simply put the curling iron in and slide it through. Just loosens the curl just a touch. For the front pieces, since these pieces are hanging out, I'll just do them now. I'm going to go away from my face for all the front pieces. So anything that's hanging out right now, curl them the direction away from my face. And with these top pieces, you might not want to go a third of the way down, you might want to go a little further down with the curl. Just to give you that softer look in the front. 
These front pieces are also a lot more fragile and thin and fine. So you definitely don't want to leave the curling iron on them for too long. Perfect. So now I'm going to go kind of around my head and then we're going to go in fast motion and I'll check back with you in a few minutes. The first section is done, so now I'm going to hairspray with the Chi Enviro 54 hairspray. It's a stronghold. On to the next level. Again, in the front pieces, I'm going to curl them away from my face, but then the next ones after that, I will curl the opposite direction. So again, holding the curling iron vertically is key and then leaving the ends out so that they're not all swirled up. Here, I'll give you an example of what it would look like if I curled starting in the middle and I curled all the way through the ends and then up. It just gives you a totally different curl. So just make sure you're holding it vertically, leaving the ends out and I can fix this curl by just flattening it with the curling iron. Get a third of the way down, leave the ends out, and then pull through. And you're pulling down. Okay, we're done with the second layer. Now I'm going to spray again. Same thing with the top layer, except the first chunk, kind of the bang section, I'm, all, I'm gonna take all of those back away from my face, just like this front piece. Then I'll alternate as I go, as I get further through the head. Another important thing that I forgot to mention is that the size of your sections you don't want it to be bigger than the barrel of your curling iron. So about an inch section, that's key for getting heat throughout the, the entire hair and making sure that the curl stays. Sometimes if your curl doesn't hold, that either means you need to wait for your curling iron to heat back up or you just need to recurl it and hold it just a little longer. Maybe your section is too big. Um, maybe it's a little bit damp. There's a million things that it could be. Um, usually I just curl it again, hold it a little bit longer. Oh, my curling iron was off. I'm checking in the mirror to make sure that everything is curled. Looks like I missed a piece right in front. I'm gonna kind of run my hands through it and kind of mess with it. So remember with this style, the whole point is that it's not perfect. It's kind of messy. It's kind of fun. It looks like you just rolled in from the beach. Perfect is imperfect. So give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Comment, like, follow me. I would love to hear from you. Talk to you soon.